it was raining, but this one it is snowing and everything is white. Yeah, my feet are already wet, but this vlog is not going to be about the snow, it's going to be how to make this kind of time lapses. <laughs> shoes are soaked but if you're interested in how to make such a rotated time lapse give me five seconds until I'm at my car and home and then I'm gonna explain you more before I go home I will swing by the hardware store and I'm gonna buy what I need to build the camera rotator let's go Alright, I already got an egg timer. Now I'm looking for a 6mm bolt, which is, I think, let me do the math, a quarter inch. And I'm looking for the nuts and two component glue. That's all I need. I got the bolts. Seriously. There's one cliche about hardware stores, which is actually very true. When you look for help, all the employees start to hide and it's almost impossible to find them. But I found one and I got everything I need and I'm heading to the checkout. Okay, I checked out and I'm still below 10 bucks. Let's start building that thing. For the cheap and easy way, you just need an egg timer and your camera. It works pretty well. For the little advanced and fast option, you need besides an egg timer, a quick release plate for a tripod and the adhesive GoPro mount. You should cut off the plastic parts of the GoPro mount so you still can screw in your tripod when you fixed it. For the tripod quick release, you need a little bit of two component glue so you can glue it on top of the egg timer. Now we have at the bottom the adhesive GoPro mount and we glued on top the quick release plate. Ready to go. I just hurt myself with a gorilla part. For the advanced and long lasting option, we need everything I got in the hardware store and I need to move to the workshop. Our first step is to open the egg timer. Then we need to drill a hole for a quarter inch bolt in the top part. Let's screw in this quarter inch bolt and mount it with a nut. Now let's focus on the other side. In the center we want to mount a quarter inch nut. Therefore I melt the plastic and push the nut with the bolt in a new hole. Finally I will fix that nut with two component glue. You can add as well a little glue on the top side. Let the glue dry and harden for at least two hours. Finally, put everything back together. And ready is your compatible tripod camera rotator. Now you know how I make my rotated time lapses. And with the three options, basically everyone can do it. The only disadvantage this camera rotator has is that it moves only in one direction, the direction the egg timer is moving. In this case it's leftwards on the footage, but you could either reverse the footage or just don't complain because it's a camera rotator for less than 10 bucks. I hope you enjoyed this little do-it-yourself video, I'm gonna leave you with the time lapse and I hope we see us next time. Be creative!